Today's video is a video that I wanted to make for quite some time. We're gonna talk about five brands that are technically independent and still in business. However, they make really high quality watches that you can get for a really good price on the secondary market. So essentially, these are five independent brands that are technically still in business. They make really high quality watches and on the secondary market, so buying them used or gray market, you can get them for a great price. All of these brands make mechanical watches and they really have their own design DNA. So let's flip the camera and take a look at some of the choices that I have made. So we're gonna start with a brand that I don't think a lot of people have ever heard of. They are called Paul Picot. Now, Paul Picot are a brand that have been around for quite some time. They are Swiss made. They use a lot of base movements. However, they do a lot of customization to these movements. We're talking about movements like, of course, the Etta 2892. This is sort of a higher end movement from the Etta group. However, what Paul Picot are sort of known for is their regulator watches. I'm gonna throw up some pictures of some of these watches and I have to say, they are really awesome. They have power reserve and they look very complicated, but they are actually very elegant and simple. And a lot of their cases are really nicely sized. You get display case backs. They put customized rotor with gold elements, real gold elements. These are not cheap watches. However, on the secondary market, they are very affordable. Usually their regulator and the one that I'm picturing right now has about a $10,000 price tag. You can get them on eBay and places like that for around $1,500 to $3,000, and they are gorgeous in my opinion. Next on this list is a Japanese brand that go by the name Manase. Manase make pretty expensive watches. However, you're going to see a theme on this list. All of the watches on this list use base movements. Usually it's the Eta 2824 or the Eta 2892. In this case, usually they're using the Eta 2824, which is the lower end version of Etta's movements. However, they heavily customize the movements. You get heavily customized cases and dials. The dials here come from Japan. A lot of them are handmade. They are gorgeous. They make a few different watches with multiple sapphire crystals that you can see the movement from almost every single angle. And they have very interesting cases, really beautifully made bracelets. These watches are gorgeous. And of course, you get Japanese Quality. Even though they're using a Swiss movement, these are manufactured in Japan, technically. And of course, you're getting a Swiss made movement that was taken apart and re put together in Japan, which actually is not a bad thing. And again, these sell for a heavy discount when you look on the used market and the gray market. These usually sell for at least 50% off. So you can pick these up around $1,000 to around two or $3,000, depending on the version. Next on this list is a brand that's been around for a very long time. They are called Martin Braun. Now they use higher end movements. Sometimes they're using Federique Piget movements and they also use the Etta 2892. But again, they heavily customize the movements that they are using. You get precious metals in a lot of their cases. Uh, a lot of their watches are very complicated as well. You have some astrology watches that give you the position of the earth and the sun. You also get sunrise and sunset indicators through this brand. But one of the things that they're famous for or somewhat famous for is of course their moon phase, ultra accurate moon phase. I believe their moon phase is one of the most accurate ever created and other brands have now used this technology and have taken it on. However, they were the first. You get a very large moon on the dial. It's photographically real, so it looks like a real moon. They do a great job with these watches. And again, these sell for very inexpensive on the secondary market. Lots of their watches that sell for tens of thousands of dollars end up selling for around four or $5,000 and sometimes even less if you get some of their less complicated watches. Really hot horology, for a very cheap price, and not a lot of people know about this brand. They're still in business, however, they're really selling very low numbers of watches currently. Next on the list is a brand called Clerk. This is a brand that I have been following for a very long time. I featured them here on my channel in the past, and I would really love to own one of these watches in the near future. They make really weird, cool, functional dive watch. They get about 300 meters of water resistance, but it's the case that is really cool. You have a dual crown setup. One of those crowns is actually a key to sort of unlock the bezel. There's a lot going on on these watches, but they're really cool. Again, these use base movements. So essentially they're using Eta 2892s for their dive watches. 
These look great and they of course get a lot of customization. They're still in business this brand, but a lot of their watches go for around six or $7,000. You can get them for around $2,000 on eBay used and in the gray market. Awesome watches and literally no one knows about them. I think they're a really interesting brand with a really cool DNA and I think they definitely deserve to be on this list. Last but not least, one of my favorite independent brands, a watch that I have never actually owned though, and there's a few different reasons why I have never actually pulled the trigger on one of these. I'm talking about Lynn Verdelin. Lynn Verdelin are very expensive. They go for around $10,000, around that starting point, seven to $10,000. Uh, however, on their secondary market, they sell for around $2,000. Again, they are using the ETA 2892. Sometimes they're using Salita movements. They don't heavily modify the movements. However, their cases and bracelets are excellent. They make a very awesome integrated bracelet watch that looks like it's from the future. Originally, they were designed to actually hold a dive computer or a field computer or a ski computer on top of them. That kind of went to the wayside as the iPhone and the Apple Watch became popular. So you really didn't need these items to be put on top of a watch. You had a smartwatch to do those functionalities now. However, the design here was really good and they continued on and a lot of people really love these watches. They sort of look like a futuristic Royal Oak from AP. And that's the best way to actually describe them. The bracelets on these look like an armadillo skin. They're sort of scales. They look incredible. I'll throw a picture up of these watches as I am talking about them. Such great watches. However, again, very bad on the secondary market. They sell for almost next to nothing from their original MSRP. But of course, if you find these watches attractive and you really like the look of these watches, which I do, a lot of people don't, obviously you could pick them up for a really great price. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think down in the comments below. Five brands that make some really cool watches, really interesting designs, and of course, on the secondary market, they are an excellent price. And there's really no reason why you're gonna ever buy one of these new because they tank on the secondary market. But that doesn't mean they're not cool. And that's kind of how I collect. I look for watches like these that are really well made, really good looking, but sell for a song on the secondary market. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, it is super helpful for the channel. And I very much appreciate it. Anyway guys, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you in the next video.